Hi students and welcome back to ceramics. We are here to learn how to throw a cap lidded jar. This is a cap lidded jar and a cap lid is the type of lid that drops down over the top of the jar and the flange and the ledge that the lid sits on is built into the outside rim of the jar so that the lid, which is sort of like a little upside down bowl, if you will, a shallow bowl, fits right over the top of this. And a cap lid is a great lid and it makes for a really wonderful form. It's very much like the lid sort of puts the um, jar under some sort of like visual pressure so it smushes out, it's sort of like a, like a squishy marshmallow that's melted and gives it that pneumatic feel that we really love in ceramics. So I have my bat and I'm going to throw the jar for you right now so you can see how that is made and how to build in the flange. So I'm gonna center this ball of clay That's a little dry, so the clay wants to pop off. Let me bring this up, push my ball of clay back down. Grab, squeeze, lift the ball of clay. Back down again. And now we have our ball of clay centered. Once again, the bat is not centered. But it doesn't matter because the ball of clay is. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Squeeze in the sides a little bit to straighten out the outside walls. I'm going to spread my floor. And now I'm going to pull up the edges but I always do that little mini pull right on the outside to kind of thin it out before I do my big lifting first pull. Now, just like our other lidded jars, we are being really careful not to make the rims terribly thin. We need to leave them a little chunky to be able to build the flange in after we're done throwing the form. So if you find yourself throwing that form and you threw the rim a little too thin, you can try cutting down into the rim of your pot just a little bit and see if it's slightly thicker or you might have to turn your form into something else and start over. So here's the form of my rounded little jar that'll have a cap on it. And I'm going to compress this edge and flatten it out. Now, in order to build in the flange, I take the sharp side of my wooden rib and I hydrate and lubricate with water the rim of my jar. And this is the slow-mo moment. This is the part that where all the magic happens. I start to press down and create a ledge using the edge of my tool, digging in to the rim of my jar and creating that ledge that the lid will sit on. Now, what I've done here is I pushed down and I've created a tiny little ridge here, which I don't really want. So I go in with my needle and I just cut that little bit of extra clay away. Now I'm gonna take my sponge, go back through and blend the side of the pot up to the top where the flange starts. I'm gonna press this down again and firm up the details. 
I'm gonna run my sponge over the sur surface of this and make sure that there's no standing water and that the edge here where the flange flows down into the form is smooth with no strange ridges or transitions. Okay. I'm gonna undercut my form. And now I'm gonna stop my wheel and I'm gonna take my measurement. Now, we wanna make sure that we get a nice clean measurement on the outside here. Because remember, our lid is going to drop down over the top of this rim. So I'm touching just a little bit, but I'm making sure that the fit is gonna be really perfect for that. So there's the fit. Remove my piece. Set down another bag, and now I'm gonna throw the lid. Okay, so to take my measurement for my lid, once again, I'm gonna hold my calipers up to a ball of clay, and I'm gonna examine this and see if I feel like I can get a decent sized lid to stretch out to the diameter of my calipers. Looks like I can, looks like the measurement is good. So I'm gonna set this ball of clay down. Turn on my wheel and carefully center this little ball of clay. Now I bring this center ball of clay down into a low hockey puck shape. And before I open it, I wanna take my measurement again. I wanna make sure that I'm in the right world. It looks like I'm already there and I have a really good diameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my ball of clay. And I'm gonna spread the floor really wide. It's kinda of like I'm making like a flat cat dish, just like that. Now, I take my sponge, I compress the rim, and I straighten out that wall a little bit. I want this interior wall to be really straight because if it's curved and I place my calipers on the inside, how will I know what the real measurement is? So I'm gonna hold my calipers up. Looks like this lid is a lot wider than it needs to be to fit over my form. That's an easy fix. All I have to do is just take my wooden tool, my wooden rib, press in this side, straighten the wall out, compress it in, and see if I can get a tighter fit take my calipers, and it looks like I've got a perfect fit right in here that'll match my jar. I'm just gonna clean this out. And we also know that it's prudent to make sure that this edge here is a little thick because in case the fit isn't perfect, you have a little wiggle room to trim the, a little bit of clay away so it drops down over the form. Now I'm gonna undercut this, not severely, just a small line, so that way a big slanted undercut is not going to factor in to the trimming later. Thanks, students.